Hello and welcome to the third episode of the beginner series. Um, in the last episode, this is where we stopped. Press B to start, and we can move. We can basically navigate, and we can move forward, backward, left, and right. And what we're gonna do now? We're gonna add a shield. We're gonna add shield, and we're also gonna make the player able to jump. So what we're gonna do? First of all, is make the player jump. Simple. Click on your player. Come down here. Um, click on Shift A. Let's say we want a player to jump at when hit the space bar. So you click on Shift A. Add an actuator. You come over to motion and you switch from oh sorry simple motion to character motion and basically um you click on jump button so if you zero numpad and click p and we basically press space bar it's not working i know why okay we're gonna come over here come to the properties okay sorry yeah i'm gonna come to the physics um you're gonna change that to character mode character and press zero and numpad press b and now press space bar and our player jumps woohoo and we've done the jump so now let's make the let's make a bullet so first of all we're gonna click on shift a add an empty come over here empty plane axis so we're gonna move it forwards and see so what we're gonna do basically we're gonna move it upwards that's so we want um, here so we're gonna come over here just to make it to make it wider empty uh, empty gonna make it set the parent to the player just drag it and drop it drop it to the player and the double click to rename it we're gonna call it um bullet let bullet underscore um instance enter so what we're gonna do um we're gonna click on shift okay gonna come to the second layer here make sure you come here click on the second layer click on shift a add shift a add a mesh okay it's gonna be a sphere so we're just gonna scale it down so it's not gonna be too big then we're gonna change it to okay we're gonna change the color Come, okay, come over to the color type, which is the uh, the material, click on new material. So we're just gonna take it all the way to black to make it look nice. Or we can make it a red bullet, okay. A dark red bullet, that would be nice. Okay, it's too dark. Take it a bit, Let's turn the intensity down. We scale down, this is our bullet, not that bad. Um. So what we're gonna do, come back, click on this type here. So this is it here. I'm gonna double click to rename it and call it a bullet. Sorry, you gotta be able to spell it. Bullet. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna click on the empty. I'm gonna add a sensor. I'm gonna add a mouse sensor gonna be a mouse left button sensor so we're gonna add an actuator and we're gonna click on um is it edit I'm sorry click and click on edit object add object so basically we're gonna just gonna come here and click on your bullet so do this so click zero and down pad please start the game and we'll click it's instancing the bullets you can see it but our bullet is not moving and it's too big so escape come over here click on the bullet scale it right down so come back here turn the numpad p click on it and now it's in a good size you can make it smaller if you want to and if you don't want to okay escape to exit so now we're just gonna come to the second layer make sure you have your bullet selected click on add sensor you're gonna add an always sensor so you're gonna come here um, you're gonna add an edit uh, sorry you're gonna add a motion 
gonna add a motion oh shit add a motion um, it's just gonna move in the forward direction that'll be y y sorry, y plus let's make it two so that will make it really fast okay now let's make it slower so that would be point one so make sure you drag this here to make it selected then you can just to make it work look neatly and just minimize this come over here back here press zero on the numpad click on p and when you click the bullet moves so we can click and fire bullets so and what we're gonna do now we're basically gonna make the bullet delete itself at a particular time and if not it's gonna slow your game from time to time but bullets will keep roaming in the space we're gonna, do, we're gonna add a delay sensor and the delay is going to be because blender calculates in 60 frames per second so what we're gonna do we're just gonna make it three seconds and that's gonna be 60 times 3 which is 180 so 180 is okay so in three seconds it should delete itself I'm gonna add object edit object to end object so you're just gonna do this oh. So now, just gonna come back here, click on P, click mouse and wait for it to delete itself. Boom! It's deleted itself. So that way your game is not gonna get slow and your bullet is gonna die. Okay, thanks for watching. The next episode will be adding enemies. Thanks for watching. Hope you, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you didn't, oh sorry. If you didn't, um, no problem.